So this title, so, so now let's learn about technology in classroom today, yes. So my name is Rui Yoshida, so, so my, this workshop, uh, I would like to show at first uh, the goal of this workshop. So the goal, the main goal is you will learn educational technology uh, which you can use in classroom tomorrow, just tomorrow. And so specifically, so after this workshop, you can describe overview of educational technology and describe technology related pedagogy, uh, which are uh, PI instruction and flipped, flipped classroom. And also you can describe effective usage of technologies. For example, I will use Socrative today. And uh, do you know about the Socrative? Uh, so please raise your hand if you know the Socrative is. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Four. So how did you know? about the Socrative? Because of previous workshops. Previous workshops, did you use that or? Yeah. No, no, yeah, did you use that? Uh, I've looked at it, but I haven't used it. Ah, okay, so <laughs> I, I'm relieved. So, and Epoch Cam, do you know Epoch Cam? So would you raise your hand? Oh, that's great. And Google Document. It is also, uh, it, uh, this uh, online service is very famous for, uh, famous, so I think all of you know about this. So the goal is uh, listed here. And so the contents of this workshop is first, I would like to introduce educational technology. And after that, technology related pedagogy, uh, which are uh, PI instruction and flipped learning. And I would like to share the practice and techniques uh, which you use in classroom, uh, each other. Because I think many of you already use the technology in a classroom. So I think it would be better to uh, share your experiences and practices. So I would like to yeah, share your practices. And after that, we would like to consider about the advantages and disadvantages of technology. And we will summarize that. Okay, okay. So, <coughs> addition to that kind introduction, I would like to uh, introduce myself. So, my name is Lui Yoshida. I'm a project assistant professor uh, at a Division of Active Learning and Teaching. So, we call it DOUT, DOUT, and which belongs to uh, Komaba Organization for Educational Excellence and which belongs to College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. So my uh, research interest and service interest is professional development, uh, which is also called faculty development uh, in Japan, and also educational technology. However, my background is not uh, education, but uh, computer science and biomedical engineering. So there is a huge jump <laughs> from here to here. So I can uh, yeah, tell you about uh, w another one more <laughs> hour. So I will, <laughs> I, will yeah, yeah, no, do, I will not explain this, however. So th there is an email address here. So if you have any questions about the workshop or developing your classroom, please uh, send me an email. And I would like to uh, introduce DOUT, so Division of Active Learning and Teaching. So the, our division provides uh, many services. So one of them is uh, management of CALS. So CALS is Komaba Active Learning Studio, where you are in now. So, so it is a little bit confusing, so DOUT and CALS. So DOUT is division, and CALS is physical space for active learning. Okay. So we manage calls and we develop some teaching materials and we also provide uh, courses to undergraduate students and we also provide workshops to uh, faculty members and staffs. And we also collaborate with other departments, uh, which is one of uh, them is a uh, division of first year seminar and we hold a workshop and we develop a course, a class design, something like that. So this is about CALS. So CALS is here, uh, so yes, thank you very much. So there are many, many uh, ICT tools and facilities. So there are movable chairs, and you sit in the movable chairs, and four-sided. Uh, we use uh, usually three projectors, however. So there are whiteboards and more than 40 uh, clickers and laptops and iPads. So, Today, I would like to use uh, many of these uh, facilities. So, uh, first, I'd like to introduce yourself in the group. So, 
I would like to write uh, and send you a purpose of participation. So what do you want to learn in this workshop? So I would like to use, uh, I would like to you to use this iPad. Okay, so turn it on. And there is QR code here. QR, co uh, <laughs> it is, oh, excuse me. Uh, QR code, so would you press that? So it automatically uh, turns to this uh, display, and you can touch the link. So HTTP, uh, Chrome, slash, slash. So if you touch the link, you can, oh, <laughs> and you can uh, push the first link on this page. Then you can go to Socrative service for students. Can you do that? All set? All set? Any, any help? No? Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. So then, uh, please uh, enter the code. Uh, so v, V6899NUUY in capital in this room name. Uh, so there is some tips for uh, entering the, oh, excuse me, entering the capital. So if you press, oh, so I will. If you press up button twice in a short moment, uh, it is locked. So you can uh, put the capital characters uh, always. So V6899 N U N U U Y and join. Press join. So the name will be this uh, in front of you. This display in front of you. Then I started, I started the quizzes, so you can enter the name, but you don't have to uh, enter your name, but you have, I think, you have all have memo, and there is a number uh, next to the memo. Then you can write down your purpose of participation in this workshop. So can you, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there is a, a number in your memo, so would you please use that? number. So we can uh, see all of the uh, comments of the survey question. So to learn more about flipped learning, and I want to learn how to impress students with uh, my technological knowledge and sawi <laughs> in the classroom. <laughs> That's funny. So teacher can uh, view all of the comments uh, in the browser. So uh, using those uh, information, please uh, introduce yourself in the group. And I would like to, to uh, inform, uh, I'd like you to inform name and facil facilitation and purpose of the particip participation you wrote on the Socrative. So I would like to uh, have four minutes to uh, introduction yourself. So please start. Thank you. I'd like to ask this table. <laughs> so what is your, uh, so thank you, thank you for the introduction yourself in the group. Thank you very much, thank you very much. And I'd like to share some uh, participants' uh, purposes for participants. So why did you choose to uh, participate in this workshop? Um, I, I will start working for uh, NCT East next April. So I want, mm -hmm. to, I want to learn about Technology. Ah, <laughs> a little bit for your future job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there is. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing. Thank you very much for sharing. So, how about you? So, why did you come to this one? Well, I um, I'd like to see an example of how it can be smoothly integrated into a class. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sort of know what's out there, but how to actually make it work in a class? Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yes. Yes, very, uh, the problem of integration is uh, very uh, important, yes. So because if we struggle uh, about using the technologies, a student's motivation will fall down. So yeah, it is very important issue uh, about that, yes, integration. Thank you very much. I hope you will <laughs> learn those uh, in this workshop. So thank you for the introduction in your group. 
So we would like to uh, move on to the next slide. And I would like to uh, show the summary of this service, Socrative. So Socrative is uh, interactive online survey service, uh, as you used. So I used free account. So I think uh, maximum number of uh, users are 50, 50 for one session. And if you pay more, uh, 150. Uh, students can use uh, this service at the same time. So, however, I think uh, we can use uh, for free. And you can create three types of uh, questions. So, one is multiple choice, and the, other, the another is uh, true or false question. And as you already uh, write down, so short answer. So there is three types of questions. And you can choose three types of quizzes. So which means, so I uh, use teacher paste. So I can, uh, I can shut down the, uh, I can go to the next quiz on, uh, for on purpose, on purpose. And however, you can't uh, go to the next uh, question uh, without the permission of me. So, you can use uh, at the classroom, uh, so you can manage the quizzes uh, your own pace. However, there is another type of quizzes, so student paste, and there is immediate feedback. Immediate feedback means so if you uh, so if you enter the response and submit that, then you can uh, show the student can show the feedback of the quizzes uh, you entered in the service. So whereas student navigation is not, there is no immediate feedback, but uh, students can go next uh, question and back to the uh, previous question on their mind and they can handle the pace of uh, survey questions. So there, is, there are three types of qu quizzes. So I think it is very useful for uh, you, for using uh, this service in class as teach teacher based so we can handle the procedure of the classroom so there are similar services uh, in this link and major major services are listed here so neopod neopod is also famous service for interactive online uh, survey service however it cannot handle japanese so if you use uh, just English, it is, uh, I will recommend this. However, if you want to use Japanese, uh, I don't recommend it. So, or Mentimeter. Mentimeter is completely anonymous voting. So you cannot track the user. So if I say when, so I can see the uh, responses from you in here, and next question, if I want to uh, link the, pre the responses of the previous question and the current uh, responses of current, um, <laughs> sorry for that, uh, current uh, questions, uh, I, we can connect if we are not using uh, this Mentimeter, but uh, Socrative. However, you, if you use Mentimeter, you cannot uh, link the responses between the questions uh, because it is completely anonymous. So because uh, Socrative uh, needs your name to use that, so we can link the responses between questions. So I think I would rather, yes, uh, recommend Socrative, yes. So uh, if you have any question, uh, please feel free to uh, ask. So I will appreciate if you speak uh, slowly, <laughs> not so fast, not so fast, however. So we would like to move on the educational technology. So educational, te ah, so educational technology, what, what uh, will occur to your mind when you heard the educational technology? So in short case, so what is educational technology? Do you have any thoughts about educational technology? Anything is, is fine, anything is fine. Assisted, assisted with computer, uh, so using computers, uh, yeah, t that technologies. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. So use computer as a tools for uh, learning. 
in the classroom. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, so educational technology is a very a vague uh, concept because there are many uh, definitions here. So one of the major definitions uh, are given by them, and educational technology is the study and the ethical practice of facilitating learning and improving performance by creating, using, and management, uh, managing appropriate technological process and resources. So they say uh, technology, uh, tec uh, educational technology is study and practice. However, yeah, as I said, there are many definitions, and some are conflicting. And so keywords for this educational technology is study, so which means research and practice, and also technological tools, as you said, thank you very much, and related to learning. So this is the keywords. So and if you don't know about the tools, you cannot use the tools. So I'd like to uh, introduce some perspectives of the technological tools here. So there are thousands and thousands of uh, tools here. So we need some perspective to organize the educational technology. So I would like to three perspectives uh, on tools. So asynchronous or synchronous, contents-based, contents-focused, or communication-focused, or hardware or software. So I would like to yeah, show these perspectives for your organizing the mind of the structure of technologies. So first one is asynchronous uh, technological tools. So the rep represent representatives, uh, so discussion boards or emails, uh, sharing folders or wikis. Uh, so asynchronous means you don't, so students and faculty member doesn't, do not have to use uh, the technology at the same time. So they can use uh, when they want to use, which means so asynchronous. So example, so IDCL mess, which you Tokyo provide to you, and Cybo. Cybo is a Japanese service. However, uh, this is very great uh, service for groupware, groupware, or Dropbox or a Wiki or Socrative. So Socrative means so if you choose student paste. Uh, quizzes you can use as asynchronous technological tools. So do you have any other examples of this asynchronous technologies? <coughs> if you have. Thank you. Evernote? Evernote, yes, yes. Do, yeah, yeah. Do you use Evernote in the classroom? Or? No, I use for my own notes. Yeah, <laughs> just for so notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can share your notes to students or, yes, thank you very much. Ada, thank you. We use Moodle in our school. Ah, Moodle. Ah, yes, yes. So Moodle is uh, one of uh, learning, assistment, uh, learning management systems, and it, which is free. And who, uh, run, who manages the Moodle? Ah, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that is free, but uh, we have to manage the system, so it costs a little bit more than you think. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a wiki, and you can uh, upload the mat teaching materials on the system. Uh, that is yes, model. And synchronous. Synchronous is so online meeting system or interactive uh, survey system. So examples are Zoom or uh, Adobe Connect is very famous. And also Skype, you can use Skype when you have small class, or Socrative as I, as I used uh, before in this workshop. So do you have any other technologies? Do you have any thoughts? Or did you use? Yeah, I think the synchronous technological uh, tools are fewer than asynchronous technologies. So I think it will, be, uh, it will increase. The number of this, these uh, services will, be, will increase in the future. However, I think, yeah, the services of uh, these uh, tools is fewer than upper one. Yes. So I would like to go next, just next perspective. So content-oriented or communication-oriented? 
So content-oriented means so video, or audio, or e-textbook. So examples are Khan Academy. So students uh, watch the videos on Khan Academy, or iTunes U, or YouTube, you may, YouTube video you made, and then go to the classroom, then discuss about that if you want to use that. So, or a web page. Web page is also the content, can be the content. So do you, and communication base is so learning management system, so which I introduced the ITC LMS and Cybos and also, yes, Moodle, Moodle, and yes, group, group yeah, yes. So do you have any other examples of these services? Any thoughts? Do you have one? Not? So yeah, this is a content oriented or communication oriented. So I think uh, it is mutually, uh, it has mutual relationship and we can use both of them. And the third perspective is hardware and software. So hardware means so PCs or tablets or smartphones or speakers and monitors and microphones or earphones. So there are many uh, hardwares here. And for example, so you will use a Lenovo, uh, Lenovo laptop, uh, which is called ThinkPad, ThinkPad, or iPad or iPhone or Blackberry or uh, yes. So there are many uh, hardwares there. And also there is uh, software here. So online survey system, online collaboration system. Uh, we, we, uh, we will use online collaboration system uh, later. And LMS, groupware, document software. So examples are yeah, Socrative and Google document and ITC LMS and Office. Yes, Office, yes, which is very yeah, useful. So there are many uh, technology tools here. So however, I would like to note to you about, so technology is just technology. So all it takes is uh, just uh, students learning. So we have to focus on what students learn. So next, I would like to uh, talk about the technology-related pedagogy. So technology-related pedagogy, so it is not technology, but pedagogy here. So one of those is peer instruction. Uh, do you know the peer instruction? Would you raise your hand? Uh, just one or two or three and four. <laughs> I'm increasing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, four or five. <laughs> Thank you very much. So it is an uh, interactive uh, educational method uh, developed by Eric Mazel, who is a professor at the uh, Harvard University. And he is a, a physician. Uh, physica, so his uh, research interest is uh, physics. And he developed the PI instruction in the early 1990s. And uh, there is uh, steps here. And first, uh, he provides mini lecture or in class, or students prepare for the classes uh, for basic uh, knowledge, basic concepts of physics. Then after that, in class, uh, Eric Mazel gives uh, multiple choice questions, uh, which are called concept test. So it is not concept test, but concept test. Concept test, he named it. And after, the showing, after showing multiple choice questions, uh, students vote. Uh, so there is a choice. Then peer discussion, then students re-vote. And uh, Eric Mazel explains uh, the answer. So this uh, method fits for large class and acquiring knowledge and very high affinity for science subjects. So I'd like to uh, experience this uh, method. So this is a physics problem here. So at first, it does not move. It does not move. This card does not move. So then if a man threw a ball, to this wall, and it bounces straight back. What is the motion of the card? So A is it moves to the right, or B it moves to the left, and C it remains in place. So what do you think? So there are three ways. So first, I would like to use Socrative to uh, gather the responses. So if 
I, so if I click next, if I click next here, next here, uh, not finish, <laughs> not finish, next here, then you can, then in your lab, uh, iPad, you can choose the uh, choices. Or you can use uh, clickers. So now <laughs> I would like to, uh, you to push the button. Now I don't show you the distribution of the responses, but uh, I would like to, you to uh, discuss about this topic. S then, uh, so first, you, uh, I would like you to say what uh, choice did you cho chose and why did you choose one. And if you can persuade them to change their mind, please do that. And you can change, my, change your mind. OK, OK. I will take uh, two or three minutes. So uh, would you start the discussion about this? So thank you for the discussion. So we would like to end now. So I'd like to you revolt, revolt. So would you use this clicker here? Would you use clicker and press button? Uh, so if you uh, press the button and uh, the ramp uh, is on, you could uh, send the response. The light, uh, the light on, yes. He, no? <laughs> so the last button you pushed is uh, your response. So if you, uh, you, if you think you were well on, uh, please press the button you think at the end of the uh, time. OK, OK, finished, finished. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I can see the results here. So I would like to share. So this is the last, this is the last uh, distribution. Uh, so I can, uh, yes, here. So blue one is the first vote. The red one is second vote. So answer, so A, B, C. So at first, so, Wow, so the answers, the answer one decreases, and answer two, yeah, double up. So the answer is B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, B. <laughs> and they stop the discussion, and they say their uh, answers are A and C. <laughs> so there is no <laughs> average. <laughs> yes, average. You are right. So I should do not uh, make you discussion because uh, it was a too low percentage of the correct answer. So I will explain that. However, so I would uh, I would like to uh, explain this uh, problem. So <laughs> it comes to physics. However, uh, it is law of uh, conservation of momentum. Wow, <laughs> wow, so momentum, momentum is uh, mass uh, multiplied by velocity, okay? So the sum of mass uh, multiplied by velocity is constant, is uh, so rho of conservation of momentum. So mass means the weight, 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 and velocity. So the summation of those uh, momentums are uh, constant. So at first, at first, they do not move. They did not move. They did not move. So velocity is zero, and uh, this velocity is zero, OK? So the total uh, momentum is zero, OK? So the constant means zero this time, this time, OK? Then after the throw the ball and the bounce, it, bounce back to straight, so this ball, so if we uh, say this is a positive uh, velocity, so there is a positive direction, so velocity has positive velocity. So positive plus positive or uh, negative are zero. So velocity of man and cat would be minus. So this is the law of conservation of momentum. So it is like physics. So, or intuitive, intu intuitive way to understand this is just uh, 
make it black box. Black box. So if you see something uh, coming to this uh, direction, it would go left. Because <laughs> something, if it stops, and there is no engine, and something comes, and if it comes, if it moves to this way, we cannot, uh, so here is. Uh, I have a question. Just before the ball reached to the wall. Uh, before, yeah. The curve should move to the wall. Yes, curve. yes, yes, yes. So before, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Before the uh, ball bounce, uh, the cart move the, this direction, and after that, this direction. Because in this black box, when a uh, ball come this uh, direction, so velocity is minus, so man and cart would be plus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. However, after the bounce, so the right answer is B now. So like this, so before I explain the explanation of this pro solution, uh, you think, uh, you thought, and you apply your knowledge to this problem, then you gave feedbacks, then you uh, can learn much more than just one directional lecture. Okay, so this is a peer instruction. And as I said, I shouldn't do, I shouldn't do make you talk in the group because the late, of the correct answer was low. So the Eric Mazzo's team uh, show this figure. So this is a, a structure, this is the steps of the PI instruction. So concept test and students vote. So if a percentage of correct answer is uh, smaller than 30%, revisit concept. Because uh, if uh, I make you uh, talk in the group that the conclusion of the group would be misdirected. So uh, it should be a uh, revisit concept. However, uh, between 30% to 70%, uh, there are some students who know the correct answer, so they can persuade other people to the correct answer. So then peer discussion, then students revolt. However, I would like to uh, you to experience this uh, process, so I chose to uh, go peer discussion and students revolt. And otherwise, so 70, more than 70%, you don't have to, uh, students have to, don't have to uh, talk in the group, so then uh, teacher explain the solution of the problem, then go to the next, stop, next topic. Okay, okay. So this is a peer instruction. So it takes, yeah, less than 10 minutes. So you can use this uh, technique in very, very short time. And engaging, it is very engaging. So it's like, so vote for one minute and peer discussion for three minutes and revote one minute, explanation two minutes. Or so question and answer two plus two minutes. However, it's only, yeah, nine or 10 minutes it takes. So you can use uh, in your class in very short time. So however, so the quality of concept test matters. So uh, creating concept test is very important. Cre creating high quality concept tests is very important. And uh, so there are many concept tests online. So you can search the, your uh, keyword of your topic and then you can find some uh, great uh, concept test. However, if you want to create the concept test, please uh, clarify learning goals of the concept test and create choices related to common students' mistakes. So if we can, uh, uh, we can, go on, we can focus on the misconception of students, uh, they will learn, they will learn. And in large class, so to promote, we need to create pairs or groups. So to promote creating pairs, so make students 
sit next to each other before the class. So what I did is place the uh, materials uh, the, uh, <coughs> in front of the uh, tables and not those backward uh, tables because I want you to sit near to me and near each other. So something like that. So please uh, make students sit next to each other. So this is a peer instruction. Ah. I didn't use, <laughs> I forgot to use, uh, P, uh, I forgot to use the technology here. <laughs> sorry for that. So I think you have, sorry. So if you don't have any technologies, uh, you can, however, you can uh, use PI instruction. So <laughs> I'm sorry for uh, forgetting about this. So this is the uh, uh, seed for response. So would you fold twice like right here? Then, then you can express your you can express your response to the teacher. So some teacher uh, use so one teacher in uh, College of Arts and Sciences use this uh, seed, and in large class of physics, and he uh, managed the large class for in PI instruction. So would you uh, show me the, an the answers, uh, whichever you want to display, thank you. And what I can see is here. So this is Epoch Cam. So it's like, so we can see the rough, con uh, we can see the rough distribution of the answer so uh, we can handle the PI instruction instead of using clickers or Socrative. Thank you very much for your participation. So this is the EpochCam. So EpochCam is uh, the technology. So this uh, smartphone becomes a movable camera document, a document camera. So this is the expl explanation about the EpochCam. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> in this. Uh, slide is your smartphone becomes a movable document camera. So when you are the same internet uh, in the same network, so I use my mobile Wi-Fi device to connect. So this iPhone connects to this one and this uh, PC connects to this uh, device. Then and softwares are installed in iPad, uh, no, iPhone, and PC, then you can use those uh, applications for free, for free. If you want to use high resolution, you have to pay. But I think that resolution uh, is enough for using in classroom. So it is very uh, useful in classroom to share. So if students write something uh, in picture, uh, in his note, we can so like we can share we can share very fast instead of so move to the <laughs> so take the picture of it and upload it. So you don't have to do that, but just uh, go to the student's desk and just see the uh, just see the camera on this. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer than I expect. Yes. So I uh, always uh, close the camera because it will be <laughs> very messy <laughs> to see. So if something, someone uh, writes something, so I can uh, share. So it is very useful for me to uh, provide a workshop. It is an Epoch cam. Photo? Do you want to? Uh, ah, yes, it, it can be. Yeah, I think it can. I'm uh, not sorry for that. <laughs> it not uh, this just for display. So if you want to capture this, another application is needed. Mm, thank you very much. Yes. So. You can take a screenshot on your computer. Ah, yes. Or uh, this iPhone. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. So we can um, we can save the photo of that. Yeah. Just screenshot, not in this software, but screenshot. So inside the OS. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
is that? This is a uh, epoch cam. So I would like to go to the next topic, flipped learning. So flipped learning is one of blended learning. So blended learning I will explain. And before class, so in the flipped learning, before class, so students learn basic knowledge uh, by watching videos, for example. And in class, so discussion or application of the knowledge uh, in the classroom. And after the class, so they uh, check understanding or extend uh, their learning. So in traditional classroom, uh, in class, they learn basic knowledge. And after class, they application, uh, appli uh, apply their knowledge to uh, problems. However, in class and out of class was flipped. Then we call it flipped. However, I think it is slided or sifted. Just they sifted. So I think it would be better to say sifted classroom, however. So which means, so in the traditional way, so these uh, components are <laughs> here and then move to these, uh, move upper, move former. So it can be said shifted classroom, however, we call that flipped, uh, flipped classroom. So I would like to talk about the uh, blended learning. So flipped learning is uh, one of blended learning. So blended learning, uh, please do not see the uh, handouts. And blended learning, so what do we blend? What do you think, uh, what are blended in blended learning? Do you have any thoughts? Uh, you, you already saw, you cheated. <laughs> you cheated. <laughs> Thank you. So how about you? You cheat. <laughs> no cheater. <laughs> Is there no cheater? What do you think? Um, things that you do in the classroom and outside of the classroom? Uh, inside and outside. And are uh, blended. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I think we can say that. However, definition and the uh, usage of this uh, terminology face to face instruction and computer mediated instruction. So the blended learning combines face-to-face -face instruction and computer mediated. So in simplest way, so offline and online are blended in uh, blended learning. Thank you very much. So it is, so blended learning is not 100% uh, online or 100% <laughs> face-to-face, but just blended. So any range is uh, blended learning. Any range of percentage of blends are uh, blended learning. So there is some models and rotation model, uh, uh, there it, which includes flipped learning. So ro students rotate to uh, different learning environment. So example uh, displayed here. So there is an environment for individualized online instruction. And there is a small class uh, with teacher and some collaboration. Uh, uh, there, is some, uh, there is a learning environment for collaboration. Then uh, students rotate uh, the places they, and they learn. So we call it uh, station uh, rotation model. So there are a lot of models. However, yeah, there is, so flipped learning is one of the model, uh, rotation model. So what's the differences in the models? So learning environment, type of instruction. So student independence, So which means, so if teacher say you have to go this and this and this, a very strictly structured, uh, there is no independence here. However, if uh, students can choose what they want to choose, uh, what, what they want to learn in any uh, learning environment. So there is some uh, student in by, uh, independence. So in the in their models, there are differences uh, listed here. So just uh, these are just for your information. So back to the flipped classroom. So there are golden rules of flipped classroom. So. Uh, there is a great, great document, uh, which name is Flipped Classroom Field Guide. So I listed the reference of the uh, guide at the last page. If you want to read that, uh, please 
uh, yes, read that. So from this article, so great golden rules are here. So there are three rules. So one, highly structured design uh, of in class. So sometimes <laughs> uh, planned down to minute. And a significant amount of uh, learning activities. So which uh, force, forces students to retrieve, apply, and or extend the material uh, learned outside of the class. And the last one is heavily incentives for out of, out of work because students never do out of work. So we need very, very uh, heavy incentives for them. So or grading in class activities, in person meetings, uh, their example. So I would, so we have uh, time limits. So I would like to focus on this heavily incentives for uh, out of uh, class work. So his study uh, showed that uh, this study is uh, based on the first year seminar and the result were 46% of students read uh, assigned uh, read assignments. So half of the students did not read the assignment. And only 55 of those students comprehended the content of that. So <laughs> one fourth of students could uh, understand the assignments. So uh, as I said, uh, heavily uh, incentives are needed here. So if we use uh, the if you use this flipped learning, flipped classroom techniques, we need to motivate students to do their out of class work. So I would like to think, I would like to you to think about how to motivate students to work on assignments before the class. So consider your courses or consider uh, courses you have uh, experienced so please, uh, so write and send techniques to motivate students on Socrative. So I will uh, push the <coughs> next button. So what would be the techniques for motivating students? Yeah, grading is one of the solutions for motivating students. How about? Grade, yes, grade, include them as a part of final course. Yes, <laughs> grade <laughs> is very <laughs> popular for you. How about, how about other than grading? Yeah, great, so having tests in classroom at the beginning of the class, it would be great. And grading each assignment would be great and have Another thought there is any part of homework point of grading, 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 assign grading and participation. Yeah, and connect to the contents of the in class is very important. So if you uh, put assignments and it, which are not related to the contents of the in class, uh, they, their motivation will uh, decrease. So you need to uh, connect the uh, contents of the assign assignments and the contents of the uh, in class. So there are some uh, solutions here. Yes, so grade on <laughs> responses to uh, assignments and use contents of assignments for exams. So which uh, th these upper two are related to grade. And there is one method, just in time teaching. So just, uh, so I will share these slides uh, after this workshop. So in just in time teaching, so students uh, respond to online assignments, which are due shortly before the class. Then teacher read the results of that, and he or she, uh, he or she uh, just responses to adjust the results to adjust the classroom lesson. So at the, first of the, at the beginning of the classroom, uh, teacher can mention about the assignments and uh, complement the understanding of the contents of the assignments. So we call that just-in-time 
uh, teaching. So using technology, which means so groupware, so in uh, discussion boards, some uh, questions uh, arose, and we can respond to the uh, uh, teacher can respond to students. Then uh, the student, the learning of students are enhanced. So we can use so online assignments, uh, which are used by uh, technologies. We can uh, respond their results and adjust the contents of the in classroom. So yes. It is facilitated by learning management, uh, learning management system or groupware. So yeah, there is some uh, thought about the how to motivate students. So and I would like to introduce another insights uh, from the paper. So many of you will use uh, videos for pre-lecture. Uh, if you use flipped uh, classroom, you will use uh, videos. So there is a research about the engaging videos. So the features uh, of the engaging videos. So they uh, researched uh, on thousands uh, videos on the online. And they found that so sh shorter than six minutes video uh, would be uh, engaging. And also a show, uh, they say that show instructor's head on the video. So, and try filming in an informal setting. So very formal setting uh, in the video will be not engaging the students. So informal is uh, allowed <laughs> to use, uh, to create the video online. And introduce motion and continuous visual flow and do not use pre-recorded classroom lectures and chop it up. So it would be, so just pre-recorded classroom lectures will not uh, engage students. So you need, I think uh, you need to create uh, your own original videos or use short videos in Khan Academy, Whiting's U, uh, to, uh, for video assignments before the class and bring out your enthusiasm is very, very important. So they found that so instructors speak fairly fast and with high enthusiasm are more engaging. So, so if you speak uh, fast, you, don't, you do not, uh, you are not be concerned about that. However, yeah, enthusiasm is very, very important for engaging video. So examples of uh, flipped learning are listed here. So if you want the details of this uh, classroom design, please uh, show this slide after the workshop. So, I, so which is from the guide, as I said. So this guide, this so flipped classroom field guide is very great resource for flipped learning. So please uh, read that. So, I would I would like to sharing your practices uh, of your practices uh, using practices of your uh, technology uh, in classroom. So uh, I would like to you to I would like to use PC. So would you open it and I should uh, order you at the first. However, so press the button. Uh, please think about your practices of using technology in your classroom. So if you do not use, uh, if you do not use practices, uh, if, sorry, if you do not use, if you, you do not use technology in your classroom right now, please uh, think about the techniques you would use in the classroom. So, so if your PC is on, please uh, get, uh, please turn on the browser, web browser, and type this ul0.biz slash ymql. Thank you very much for sharing. So <laughs> there is some trouble, however, but <laughs> thank you for the <laughs> participation. And so there we can uh, show your practices uh, in the Google document here. 
So we can, wow, <laughs> please, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> control Z, please. Or uh, after the, yes, after the entering the sentences, we can download the file so we can save the backup for this, <laughs> uh, deleting everything. So we can see one of those. Then after this uh, workshop, we can uh, see all of the uh, practices uh, they uh, are using in classroom. Okay. okay. So we uh, run out of time. So uh, please uh, see the practices uh, in after this workshop, please. So, however, we can use uh, technology uh, to collaborate uh, in the same in the same document with using uh, Google Document. So, Google Document. I would like to show the Google Document. So, edit one document simultaneously. So, we have some trouble uh, sometimes. Yes. So, types uh, of sharing format is shareable link or uh, if we use uh, students' accounts, uh, we can find out who erase the <laughs> uh, contents. So if there are a lot of uh, troubles uh, there, please use accounts, not a shareable link. And types of permissions are editing, commenting, and just viewing. So after the, yes, after the entering the, uh, after entering the, sentences, uh, we can uh, choose the permission of, uh, so here, kyo, kyo, so sharing, sharing, and uh, <laughs> sorry for it is Japanese. So if we said just for viewing, and then you cannot, uh, edit, you cannot edit this uh, document. So you can use uh, these uh, services for in classroom. Okay. So, advantages and disadvantages. So we are running out of time, so what do you think advantage? What is the advantage of the technology? So how about you? Uh, any technology in classroom to facilitate uh, learning of students? I think part of the advantage is that you, you allow students to get all the grunt work done outside of class. Mm -hmm. So that you can free up time in class where they can talk together and figure out together. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've uh, focused on the contents in class, and because we can uh, put the contents outside of the class. Thank you very much. How about uh, the advantage of the class? Uh, well, there's many advantages. Yeah, yeah. One of them being that it also um, can be something new in the class. It mm. wouldn't disrupt an otherwise monotonous mm. flow of mm. activities. Um, students can get excited about technology. Mm -hmm. um, as Brian said, you can uh, do all the reading and watching outside of class, and then you can work on figuring out what you know and then discussing why you don't know. Mm. Thank you very much. So, yeah, facilitating the communication between students and uh, faculty members out of the class. Thank you very much. So how about this advantage of the uh, You do not have the equipment? Like yeah, no, 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 yeah. No, that is very, very great point. So we have uh, 40 laptops and uh, 40 iPads. However, so when you uh, do it in traditional classroom, you, are, you have to focus on uh, what they have now. Thank you very much, thank you very much. How about this advantage? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so someone erase, then everybody is affected. Uh, would be one of the yeah, disadvantage of technology. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And also, the possibility that trying to introduce technology um, overtakes actually learning or trying to teach what you're trying to teach. If, if, if everything's not set up just the way it needs to be set up and running correctly, mm -hmm. you're going to waste a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So smoothly integrating technology in classroom is also a big issue and uh, disadvantage. It be, could be disadvantage of technology. So w 
in the course, uh, students can get custom of it. So at first, uh, students learn to how to use and teacher learn to how to use uh, would be uh, better, uh, I think. So at first, uh, students uh, think they are using technologies and they have to uh, use technology and clarifying those uh, concepts of the classroom is also important for using technologies in classroom. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So sorry for the running of time. So I would like to summarize this workshop. So educational technology, uh, the definitions are many. So keywords are study, practice, and technological tools. And we and I we sh saw the three perspective perspectives on tools. And so we need to focus on students' learning. So technology is technology. So it is just method. So we need to focus on students' learning. So we learn the technology-related pedagogy. So peer instruction, flipped classroom, and sharing uh, technology. So after the workshop, please see this uh, file and practices, techniques, and advantages, and disadvantages. So main technologies uh, we used in this uh, workshop is Socrative, and Epochcam, and Google Document. So there is references. I mean, there are many references here. So there are references here. So please uh, look at the reference if you are uh, interested in. So thank you for your participation, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>